Oprah's ultimate viewers have discovered why there's nothing like Australia. Isn't it about time you did too? Melbourne's Federation Square for Oprah Winfrey's only public appearance on this ultimate Australian adventure. The fans were entertained by Jessica Malboy, human nature, but of course they all couldn't wait to lay eyes on the lady herself. The day started with a special tour of the city. I've been here an hour and a half. So far, so great. <laughs> you get shown the city with the Prime Minister. Who gets that? So, <laughs> what could be better? Always following teams of Oprah's film crews, recording every moment to be shown on Oprah's Australian shows. From the moment she arrived, the talk show queen made it clear she was keen to showcase Australia's strong female leadership to the world. You know you're in a country they run by women. Yes. From the Queen, to the yes. Governor-General, to the Prime yes. Minister, to I the State Premiers. How good That's that? what I'm feeling, all of this great feminine energy. When you enter the country, there's something that feels, um, from the moment I landed, that it just feels, there's a sense of vibrancy and aliveness that uh, I've not experienced before. And everybody's so darn friendly, friendly and they speak English. <laughs> that is, that's a... <laughs> Hello, it's my kind of place. We just keep going. Well, hello, Australia. Well, hello, Australia. I'm so glad to be here, really. Not that long ago, it was a very different place. But, uh, you know, I think it's something that our country should be proud of, that people in this country get elected to positions regardless of their gender, but on their merit, and that's a great thing. I think, yeah, it's a very Aussie thing. <laughs> I know you often get asked if you'd ever go into politics. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can actually do a lot more? This way. Oh, I think this is far more fun than politics, and you know, people seem to have a, a sense of trust and a belief that you know what I'm saying is really. Real. I, I I don't think politics would would work for me. I don't think it'd achieve as much. Uh, I don't think. But politicians can only dream of this kind of adoration. Ten thousand screaming fans who did their best to catch a glimpse or take a snapshot, with a few lucky enough to have a chat or steal a hug. including taking over a Melbourne shop to throw a surprise baby shower. Who wanted to come, but her doctor told her she would not be able to come because she was like nine and a half months pregnant. And she was so disappointed. And her sisters had written me and saying that she really wanted to come. And so I surprised her. A surprise too for a special Oprah disciple, fulfilling a promise made when she announced her trip down under. There are some other fans who'd like to know exactly where it is you're going to stay because they'd like to offer you their spare room so you can bunk down and try out some real Aussie hospitality. Some wonderful Australian viewers have come to my show over the years, and every time anybody from Australia comes, they always stand up in the audience and say, you must now come, you must come, you must come see us. And I always say, well, you're the only person I would know. So now <laughs> I'm going to go look for all those cards I've been saving over the years. <laughs> Megan Castron was one of those people. The Melbourne jewellery designer posts videos on positive thinking on YouTube. She thought she was hosting a private dinner for audience members until Oprah knocked on her front door to check out her vision board. Now this is what is unbelievable to me. I'm a woman who believes in dreams, but I've been working on a vision board for the past year, starting in January, and mine is still unfinished. <laughs> And she stayed for tequila and tacos. Someone came to take my plate away 
She was not oh, has that one thing? So she took my my last taco, so that was so funny. She's just real and she's relaxed and beautiful and an amazing energy. Which was on show on the dance floor as Aussie rocker Ross Wilson dropped in for a backyard concert. Up next, Oprah sets a new record for the Sydney Harbour Bridge. 